Hey everybody, this is Perch. Why can't you get rich from comics? Like, like really, why, why can't you? Why shouldn't you be able to get rich from making comics? There's a kind of a litmus test question that I've had for, for people in comics, particularly people I'm about to do business with. Um, you know, I, 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 it's obviously working in a store, running a store, owning a store, sometimes putting the money up from the store and other people are running the store, which has been a common occurrence, at least over the last decade. Um, there's this, this world where you need to understand kind of the basic mentality of the people you're working with. And so if you're, if you're going to go out and publish comics, you're going to distribute comics, you're going to market comics, or you're, you're going to hire people to manage a store, you, there's a, there's an important question that needs answered. And that question normally falls down in, for me, into this, you know, do you think you can make money doing this? Do you think you can become rich doing this? And there's kind of, there's a lot of different answers, but I can kind of break them down into three buckets and you'll see where I'm going with this in a second. There's answer number one, which is, oh yeah, I'm going to be a millionaire doing comics. How? I have no idea. Okay, that person's an idiot. So you can just kind of almost put that. I love the optimism, but that is that is a terrible answer. And never trust anyone who's going to tell you that they're going to be super, super ultra, ultra rich. And they have no concept of how to actually get there. That's a problem. Okay. Then there's the other extreme. And this almost sounds like a perch take. Ah, sh shit. No, I, it's not. It's not. But th these are legitimately three camps of answers. The other answer is, and this is the one to really focus on that drives me insane. Of, oh, no, no, there's no money in comics. We don't do this because we love it. There's no money here. There's, there's you know, you don't do comics because you, you're going to make money. Well, I'm not going to make any money. No. No, I'm going to live just above the poverty line or maybe even below it. That's the worst answer. And I'll get more to that in a second. The right answer, the answer that I look for, is always, well, there's not nearly as much money in comics as there should be, but I've got some ideas of how to change that. And here they are. And then the ideas come up. That's the, absolutely the best answer. That's the person you go into business with. That's the, that's the right approach because it's somebody who's a realist. They recognize where the industry is at right now, where comics is. And they also recognize that it's, uh, there's, it, you know, if hard work ensues and if, if good ideas happen, then that picture can change. That a industry that is struggling can be a healthier industry. That's, that's what you want. Um, the, but the problem is, I would say, if you're talking to people inside of comics, and now I'm not talking about the artists and the writers or, you know, the freelancers. I'm talking about people who actually work, in theory, for a staff job, editors, people in distribution, sales, etc. Um, nine times out of ten, you will get the answer, uh, there is no money here. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a... It's a passion project. It's a passion job. You don't do comics because you want to get rich. I hate that sentence. You don't do comics because you want to get rich. Why can't it be, I'm going to do comics, and damn it, I'm going to get rich. Because through force of will and ideas and changing the rules, I'm going to create some money for myself. There are people who have money. Greg Capullo has made money in comics. Good money. Mark Miller has made good money in comics, and, and he, is, he is a happy man, okay? But, there, you know, if you are an editor working in comics, if you are somebody who's managing, say, the Avengers line, and you are pulling down less than 40 k a year living in Manhattan, then you should be thinking, number one, this situation sucks, and I'm not going to put up with it. Number two, how do I, you know, increase my power, increase what I do, make this job become sustainable? How do I make it so that this is actually a powerful job? How is it that, uh, how can I make it so that my job will pay, you know, the equivalent of what Amazon offers people right out of college <laughs> without, with like, with, with C averages of grades? They, they, we've hit this point, by the way, for big tech companies, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Apple, some of these others, uh, where they're taking people with much lower test scores and much less aptitude simply because there is more demand than people. So you're having people who, who did a moderate to poor job in school sometimes, getting jobs at Amazon, building their commerce engine along with 800 other people. I mean, just it's a, I'm exaggerating, but not by much. It is, it is, the world has changed. So why can't comics be that way too? We've got billion dollar movies, we've got properties, everybody knows everywhere. 
why do we have to start from this default position of, ah, there's no money here. Just, just forget about it. Or its cousin answer, which is even worse. The, I would be bothered if I made money in comics because I would worry, I would worry it was taking away from my creativity. That person is a dangerous idiot. This is somebody who not only recognize, you know, not only has no ambition to, to get rich and make money. And, and please keep in mind, I, I'm not saying it's, it's Michael Douglas greed is good, but you should want to make money. A lot of good things happen when you make money. Like when you make money, you get a, you know, Hey, here's the thing. If you've never traveled first class in a plane before, you may not understand how awesome first class is, but the first time you do it, you will suddenly realize it will wreck you forever. You will not be able to go sit back in row 23E and not feel good, you know, and, and feel good about your situation. You know, what a lot of people they've they fly they've flown coach their entire life. It's been fine. Maybe even fun. You get a free free drink, you know, free some free soda there and some peanuts, and maybe there's a movie now. A lot of the new planes have just they, they free movies you can watch. Oh my god, who wouldn't want to travel from LA to London? In economy, it's great. Is relax, but the first time you sit up in business class or first class, then suddenly you're like, "Oh, I see. This chair fully reclines to 180 degrees. It reclines flat. Oh, they give you a blanket. Oh, in addition to the free soda, there's a completely open bar here. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting a warm dinner that actually looks like it was cooked by a real person and not a robot. Like, hey, I I don't want to go back to coach. It, it no matter, I always laugh at the at people in comics when they're like, my creative spirit would be broken if I was making money. No, you just, that is, that is stupid. That, that is ludicrous. You like money. Money buys you nice things. Money allows you to take those, those trips to Europe to see the castles. Money allows you to, you know, do what, money allows you freedom in a lot of cases. doesn't mean you, you have to have money. It doesn't mean that your whole life needs to revolve around money. But if somebody comes handing you money, you don't, you don't say, no, no, I, I can't quite, I can't possibly, I can't possibly take this. I, I enjoy my free spirit. That's, that's silly. And, and too many, th this to me is one of the, the parts of comics that wrecked. I mentioned in another video, I have no idea if it's played or not yet. The idea that there was this crossroads that happened for comics. Is it going to be a business or is it going to be a boutique industry? And uh, one of the big arguments at the time was we can't be corporate. We can't be business. We can't, we can't think about money. We need to think about the creative side of the world. And I think that was one of those decisions that helped wreck a lot of where this industry is at. You know, it's, it's I, too many times now, too many times for me not to be really pissed about it. I post up those numbers videos and people within the publishers will reach out and go, oh, I had no idea. I had no idea this comic was selling so low. Like the comic you worked on, you have no idea. Come on. Come on, who's not why aren't you getting those numbers? Who's not sharing those numbers with you? What is going on? Well, I mean, it kind of all makes sense if you're thinking about this as, ah, there's no money in comics anyway. There's no money. So, eh, don't worry about it. And then pretty soon you're looking at the job like, well, there's no there's no money. So, you know, does it matter do we have to put in a, a good work? I mean, Look, it's the other side to this coin is I did. Uh, I, I was on Wes's show at Thinking Critical, and I didn't quite. I, I was slow to wake up to the premise. Uh, he's talking about, you know, taking things too seriously, and, and this was in regard to Wally West. So he spent most of the time talking about Wally West. Like, if you complain about the treatment of Wally West, you're taking comics too seriously. And his point, which is correct, is I, I'm yeah, I'm taking comics too seriously. You're charging me five ninety nine for this comic. You're, you know, it, why, why shouldn't I take this seriously? It'd be weird not to take it seriously. I'm not saying take it serial killer seriously. I'm not saying you, you, you obsess over every deed. You become one of those, those weird a-holes on social media. It's like poking at every possible thing. But, you know, I, I, like I'm expecting one of the comics to go out to print and like Suicide Squad, except it's spelled wrong. It's spelled like Suicide Squad, but the U and the A is is backwards in Squad, and it's like whoopsie. Eh, don't take it that seriously. These are comics. Don't take it that seriously. You do need to take it seriously. There is a, there's a little bit of a point. There's a, there's a there's a line where you do need to certainly get past that line. 
And I feel like comics is on this spiral at times into, uh, you know, I, 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 oh, we forgot to print a page. Screw it. It doesn't matter. Don't take it so seriously. Like, it's just comics. It's just comics. I feel like we're on this descent where it was like, hey, this character looks like radically different on page one and page three. It's like, hey, the costume uh, suddenly grew pockets halfway through the comic. Where'd that happen? Oh, don't take it so seriously. You're, you're, you're killing the enjoyment of it. No, basic quality is serious. And I think it's all related to this idea of the, the personality type, of which I think there's way too many of in comics, of, hey, you're not going to make money in comics. Because to me, that's shorthand. That's code for, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're not making any money. We don't take it too seriously. It doesn't really matter. To me, that attitude is the is the cancer that is the that is the death it's that and that makes me crazy it makes me absolutely crazy whenever i hear that um i i think that you know there's so much attention being spent uh online about social justice and these 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 people who are ruining comics uh, to me i think you boil it down to are you taking this business seriously? Do you actually want to be successful? Do you want to make money? Not, not your, not success. You get to define as, uh, you know, in a tiny, 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 tiny pond. You're a moderately bigger fish. That's not success. If that helps you get to sleep at night, cool, and that's good, and and you should have a good self esteem. Not saying any of that, but that's not success. You should want to make money. You should want to easily be able to pay your health bills. You should be able to have an operation and not have to do a GoFundMe. That, that should be a reasonable expectation. And no, you know, universal health care is not the solution to this. Having more pride in your industry is the solution. Yeah, universal health care, that, that may be great. That's different. You should, you should have some basic pride in your job. You should have some basic expectations that you're not working for a hobo charity. I, I, that to me anyway, that's so uh, as we talk about pet peeves, that's a clear one of mine. If you come in, you're like, ah, oh, there's no, there's no money to be made here anyway. I mean, come on. It's like, that's a person who's given up. And I think it's the people who have given up that drive a lot of the lack of change and a lot of formal momentum, a lot of innovation, a lot of improvements within comics. That's what I think. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, like, and subscribe, reach out to me. All that kind of stuff's in the description of the video. Thanks for listening.